<laughs> this is my Barker. She's 81 years old. She moved to Australia in 1969, and the one thing left on her bucket list is to see the Great Barrier Reef. So my sister and I decided to take her. Are you ready to get in one of those little planes? Yeah. First, we went in a plane to see the reef from above. Stretching over 2,300 kilometres along the northeastern coast of Australia, this intricate tapestry of coral formations paints a breathtaking mosaic of colours beneath the crystal clear waters of the Coral Sea. Its vibrant hues, from vivid blues to lush greens, create an otherworldly realm teeming with a dazzling array of marine life. Beyond its stunning appearance, the Great Barrier Reef plays a vital role in the health of our planet's oceans. It serves as a nursery for countless marine species, provides a natural barrier against coastal erosion, and contributes to the regulation of global carbon dioxide levels. This fragile ecosystem, however, faces an urgent need for conservation, as rising sea temperatures and human activities threaten its delicate balance. This trip wasn't just about our adventure. It was a reminder of the urgent need for conservation. Preserving the Great Barrier Reef is not just a responsibility, but a testament to our commitment to safeguarding the remarkable beauty and ecological harmony that this natural masterpiece embodies. Our adventure continued as we embarked on a mesmerizing underwater expedition to witness the vibrant coral formations and swim alongside the most incredible marine creatures. So we're here in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef <laughs> and Bark is um, a little bit seasick. Yeah, a bit seasick, so she's struggling. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's so nice. We just went in a semi submersible and we're about to do the glass bottom boat. But as we marveled at the beauty around us, we were reminded of the pressing need for reef conservation. Climate change and human activities pose significant threats to this delicate ecosystem, causing coral bleaching, habitat destruction, and an increase in natural disasters. So this is a cool collaboration project we have going on out here with Mars. They're actually out with us today, which is really cool. Um, basically, they are working alongside us and uh, we have this program together called Mars Stars. What we do is we actually make these limestone stars in our workshop and then we bring them out here. Once we bring them out here, our marine biologists head, then head out, collect healthy fragments of broken off coal and then they attach it to these stars. And then we set up in damaged areas. So there you go, guys. You might see some of those little cages on the floor as well. So we're doing a lot of um, science projects out here. Oh, there you go. A lot of science projects out here, uh, basically studying the coral and how we could help it to grow back in that area as well. Thankfully, there are dedicated individuals and organizations working tirelessly to protect and restore the reef. Conservation initiatives such as coral planting and sustainable tourism are helping to preserve this natural wonder for future generations. My sister and I jumped in for a snorkel and got to experience the beautiful colours and marine life of the reef up close.
Did you enjoy it? Yes, yes. I did enjoy it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Corals, fish, turtle. People, it's nice. The boat is beautiful. I really, really enjoy it. And I can say the people come in and see it. But our journey didn't stop at the reef. We ventured on the scenic railway to Karanda village, surrounded by the mystical Daintree rainforest, one of the oldest and most diverse rainforests on the planet. The lush foliage, towering trees and serene waterfalls left us in awe of this beautiful ecosystem. Just like the reef, the rainforest faces its own set of challenges due to deforestation and habitat loss. Our grandmother's smile throughout this journey was truly priceless. Witnessing her experience the beauty of the reef and the rainforest was a poignant reminder that these natural wonders deserve our utmost care and attention. Alright Barker, are you ready to come have some breakfast? Oh really? I didn't know that either. Are you guys hungry? Yes. yes. I've never seen someone eat a coffee so intently and drink a coffee. Why not? Why would you want to kiss her bum? Because her bum might be more, more cleaner than mine. <laughs> One day, when I'm 81, I hope I can return to Cairns with my own grandchildren. I hope to share with them the same wonders that filled our hearts with joy. But more than that, I hope the Great Barrier Reef and the Daintree Rainforest will stand strong, untouched by the destructive forces of climate change and human activity. Let's remember that we all have a role to play in protecting our planet's treasures. Together, we can ensure that these natural wonders remain a source of inspiration and awe for generations to come. Until next time, stay curious and do what you can to keep exploring and changing the world.